ready for action here. Our second fight of the night, flyweights. The story, go ahead. the story of this fight is going to be who controls the distance better. You got Ortega, who's got that distinct reach advantage, and Sergio, who's the shorter fighter. Whoever establishes that jab range first is going to put their story of the fight right there. Orlando Ortega in the black and red trunks. Sergio Rivera in the all black. Your third man in the cage, referee Chris Molina. Right away, that height advantage, you see it. Ooh, nice right hand by Rivera. See that height advantage for Ortega. Sweeping lefts and right, cripples. He landed a big right hand there that looked like it buzzed Rivera a little bit. Really buzzed Rivera, he gets right back up. He's got a little bit of a mouse over that left eye, that's Rivera. Ortega's got long arms and he's not afraid to throw those hands. He's got it. The shorter fighter's got to beat the longer fighter to the jab. If, if, if Ortega's able to establish that jab, it's going to be a, tough for Rivera to manage that distance. Spinning back fist. Rivera in on a double. Gets him on the cage. Smart move. I mean, he's giving up the height. He's giving up the reach. Go for a takedown. Ortega's got an underhook. He looks like he's turning his hips well. He's got a, an under and an overhook. He's got a 50-50 arm position here, over-unders. Ortega's got to use that left underhook and start spinning Rivera towards his left side. You want to get his left shoulder and right shoulder spin back to the cage parallel. Man, Ortega is long. He's long for this weight. Long and big. He's got good hips. He's showing good takedown defense so far. Ortega's got two fights in his career. I told you he made his debut. Back in Triton fight seven, defeated Dennis Stamp. Rivera's working hard for this takedown. He's got to watch his neck. If Rivera switches, uh, if Ortega switches his grip, he does have a guillotine here. You know, Rivera talked about how he worked with Rick Schaefer on his striking, but he said, to make a statement in this fight, I want to take Ortega down. He's trying to do that here. You know, at, at this point, when you're on the cage for this long, the, the cost-benefit analysis here of, of, of the takedown starts to wear on you. How much, how, much did you. how much energy did you lose in pursuit of this takedown? But then again, it looked like Rivera got banged with a pretty hard shot. Maybe he's got to clear the cobwebs. Yeah, it's one way to look at it, but I'll tell you what, Sergio Rivera's not giving up that leg. Determined to, to get this takedown. Now, Ortega, um, uh, Ortega's not doing much here to improve his position either. You know, he, he's stopping the takedown, but he's not working to improve. And Molina had enough. He broke him. Nice right hand from Rivera. Comes in and follows up with a short right on the land Ortega. He got hit with a knee on the way in. Another nice right hand out of Rivera. Got Ortega's uh, attention with that one. Seen some of that striking from Sergio Rivera. Looks like Ortega's jumping on his neck. He's jumping a guillotine here. At the, the end of the round. round. Rivera was bleeding heavily out of his right eye. The, the doctor and the cutman came in and got that blood cleaned up very, very impressively. Something to keep a look. Uh, We're pulling off shit every different time. Something to keep an eye on here. It's round number two continuous. Is that eye? Take time. Is that eye of Rivera? Ochega's landing big shots here. He's throwing with mean intentions. Nice inside leg kick out of Rivera. Rivera's got to set up coming in. He can't be rushing in. Oh, oh, Headshot got him to the top oh, of the head. This is good. Oh, come on. Take time. Take time. Another big shot from Ortega as Rivera retreats and tries to go for a takedown. Rivera's got a body lock here. Hard to see the head position here. I mean, it really doesn't look out of focus. I have not seen it look out of focus. I must find it now! Yeah, these lenses are pretty forgiving. Ortega's able to successfully break that clinch. He's got Rivera on the cage. Nice laugh that you see the cut really open on the face of Rivera. Ortega's got Rivera on, the, on his back foot here. He's landing. Good sprawl out of Ortega. Looks like he's trying to set up a choke here. He's taking the back. What's he going for there, Ortega? 
He's looking to take the back. He's, he's got an over under. He's breaking the eye of him. Don't want to do that. He's got the back now. A bloody Sergio Rivera is in trouble here. Both hooks in. We've got some blood on our notes here. Doesn't have the angle on the choke here. Sergio's hand fighting well. Rivera's got to start turning his body towards the or choking arm and getting his hips out. Dave have been around ringside a long time. Oh, I got blood on me, mount. Dave. I got blood on me, Dave. That's how you know it was a tough fight here. Round number two has been a bloody one here. Blood Orlando spraying Ortega on. in control. Blood spraying on Dan Canobio. Rivera gets back to guard. Rivera said, you know what? A little blood ain't going to hurt me. Nice work out I of Sergio. I want this first win. Oh, big right hand out of Sergio. 30 seconds left. There's still enough time for Sergio to do some damage here. How about the toughness of Sergio Rivera here? He's on the back. Referee Chris Molina showing his uh, flexibility. Flopping around on the cage. One of the best refs in New York State. You got to admire Sergio's heart there. He was in a bad position. He was able to scramble out, bloodied up, and still fighting. They're on the cage here again. You know. Big time drama here at the Space at Westbury. We're going with the round number three. Orlando Ortega in the black and red. Sergio Rivera in the black and green trunks. It's been a good one here. A lot of blood and guts. Interesting start to the third round. It looks like they're they're almost feeling each other out here for the third round. So you, know, you looks see in the first round. You know, if you're Ortega, why not pounce? Well, I, I understand what Ortega's doing. He, he knows he's up 2-0, and he's got expecting Rivera to maybe get wild and look for the finish. So I, I, I understand and I respect what Ortega's game plan is here. He's not going to overextend himself until he sees where Rivera's at. And that, that's a good sign of intelligence. You know, but if I'm Rivera, I'm, I'm down two rounds, I got to go for broke. He's got to start pumping that jab and start closing the distance behind something. You can hear Rick, his coach, telling him combinations, start using your hands. Current body was in the corner of Sergio Rivera. I want to see if they try to address the blood and what their general idea was for him. That's right, Dad. In, the, in Sergio's corner, they weren't concerned about the cut at all. They just told him to keep throwing knees. That's the game plan, and that's what they want him to do. Wow. Throwing knees, something he hasn't really done a lot in the first two rounds. Interesting game plan. Well, they want him, I guess, be more busy when he's got Ortega pressed up on the cage in the clinch and, and slow him down with some knees. But here they're out in space, and Sergio's got to get busy. He's got to let his hands go. He's got to start using that jab. He's got to put Ortega on his back foot. He's, got, he's the larger man. He's got to back him up and negate that range. Ooh, good body kick from Ortega. Ortega stays in the center of this, of this cage. He'll win this fight easily. The longer he stays there at range, the more likely he is to win this one. Don't let Sergio Rivera, who's very tough, back into this fight. Interesting third round here. Like I said, you know, they're, they're both they're both feeling each other out more. It's more of a chess match this round than it was in the other round. But I understand why, and, and I think what Ortega's doing is smart. Throwing bombs now. And he pointed to the center of the cage, like let's 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 get after it for the last 30 seconds here. Nice oh, right. big right, big left hook from Sergio Rivera. Counter left hook, landed right on the chin of Ortega. That's textbook southpaw orthodox stuff right there. You see Luke Rockhold use that to his advantage a lot. He's throwing that right. R Rivera's got to go for broke here. Lands Ooh, another one. Another check left hook. Only 10 seconds remaining. See, I wouldn't uh, take down. It's an interesting move with 10 seconds left. Ladies and gentlemen, after three action pack rounds, this one goes down to the scorecards. All three judges score at 29 28. For your winner, by unanimous decision, 
Orlando Ortega. Orlando Ortega, tough first victory here. Early contender for fight of the night. You had a game opponent, Sergio. You did some damage early. He weathered the storm. What was the game plan for you? Um, stick to my boxing. Um, uh, from what I've heard about him, he's mostly taking things to the ground. As you can see, he did the entire round. So we were kind of prepared for that. But you know, we didn't really have that much of a game plan. I just felt like I was going to come in here, have fun. That's when I do my best, when I just treat it like another sparring match. And that's what I did. I came in here to have some fun, and fun's what we had. You look like you enjoyed yourself the whole fight. Definitely did, yes, sir. You're, you're a big guy for a 125. You use your range real effectively. You know, it's real impressive. What are you looking to do next here in this division? Uh, 125 is something that me and my team wanted to try out. Uh, I usually fight at 135. Um, the weight cut was kind of hard for me, so not too sure if we're going to stay at the 125 division. But I'll definitely be back at 135. And if the matchup is good enough, I'll definitely drop down to 25 because I'm tired of fighting. I, I need some harder, some, some tougher opponents. And as my record's getting better, they're coming. But I just, I just feel like I need some tougher opponents for myself to get prepared for the pros. Well, give it up for your winner, Orlando Tega, and keep an eye on him for possibly two divisions. Congratulations.